Hey, it's Taisha, and I'm back with another great video. Today, we're going to talk about this movie here, Bamboozle by Spike Lee. Now, I had no clue this movie existed. This movie came out in 2000, so they're getting ready to release an uh, updated version on Blu-ray and with some additional features here uh, in next month, March of 2020. I will leave links in the description for you to place to pre-order your copy or to go ahead and order one of the original copies if you're like me and you couldn't wait to watch it. What is Bamboozled about? Bamboozled, it stars Damon Wayans, Michael Rappaport, Jada Pinkett Smith, Savion Glover, Tommy Davidson, Paul Mooney, most Def. It's satire. However, what Spike Lee has creatively done, he has gathered, you know, footage from the early beginnings of American television. It's like he, he put these clips, these images, these stories of how black people, you know, came into television, motion pictures, and the caricatures that they had to become. And it's portrayed today when you look at media. It starts out with Damon Wayans. He plays uh, Pierre de la Croix, or Crew. Yeah. Without spoiling it, um, what he does is he is some kind of like exec at a television network, a major mainstream television network. And he is tasked with producing a show to not only save his career, but also to save the television station. So what he decides to do is to uh, put forth into creation a minstrel show. One uh, clip in Bamboozle that really stuck with me, and this, this was just not forgetting the history of what the pioneers of, of African-American actors and actresses had to go through was um, how Jada Pinkett, she narrated the process of how African-Americans would go into blackface. And that clip is actually, you can see that on Amazon. I'll put a link for that in here so you can see that. And it just showed exactly what they had to do to, you know, become even, even more darker. And that's why in television, you know, the darker you are, you're like the butt of the joke. You're, you're, you're not commonly taken seriously. And you're, you're often put in a position to, to make a mockery of yourself. Nowadays in television, oh my gosh, I absolutely can't stand watching television. I cannot stand it. One person that has just, you know, got on my nerves so much, and it's Tiffany Haddish. She's gotten on my nerves so much. She is like the epiphany of, of bamboozled, just the most extreme version of being an african-american and i'll call her female just the the most nastiest jokes the raunchiest jokes the most outrageous behavior but then now i've noticed they're trying to clean up her image you know clean her up more so that she appeals to you know i guess a more polished audience because when i saw uh, her her last comedy special it was uh this black mitzvah I have my own reservations on what I can say about that, but this is YouTube and everything is public and open for, you know, public consumption, so I'll keep that to myself. However, comma, now she's cleaning up, they're cleaning her up, but she's now, uh, they did like a revamp of kids say the darndest things, you know, Bill Cosby used to host that, you know, back in the day. But they have, have her hosting it now. And it's just, it's something that doesn't sit right with me that has her sitting here talking with children on TV. But she was just in the camera, booty hole, you know? I That that doesn't sit right with me at all. Another another person that's right now in, in mainstream media, um, the Grammys just happened. And for the last couple of weeks, Lizzo has been trending. And... She is the epitome of being bamboozled, absolutely to the to the fifth power. And I haven't spoken on those. I let you know other people like um, Boyce Watkins. He put out videos about her. I just did not feel the need at that time to you know kind of talk about her because everybody was already lightning to her. But I'm watching how American television is playing this two ways. Okay, so you have Lizzo on here with the the big booty on when she did like the MTV Awards there's this huge booty in the background and she's on stage drinking liquor taking it straight to the head 
and she's playing a flute. She's in a wedding dress. Then she's in a onesie. Shout out to our Kathy. I will link. I, I will link our Kathy's video right here. You click it and you watch what our Kathy had to say about her because our Kathy was ahead of the game. She wasn't being bamboozled. Okay, she peeped the game a long time ago. They said, "Bring me your fat, your loud, your ignorant," and here come Lizzo. I tried, y'all. I tried with Lizzo, but at this point, you need to understand we cannot depend on these celebrities. To get us out of this shit. You have Lizzo with the butt cheeks out. She consciously went there to do that and consciously did that. You know, she really sullied a basketball game. And, you know, right now we're not even able to mourn the loss of, of Kobe Bryant and his daughter because, you know, it's what... American television and media wants us to do is manipulating us. It's bamboozled happening right in front of us. And this is why it's so, so important to watch this movie and really see the history of American television. You have Lizzo here being the mammy. You know, she's fat and out of shape and just being super overly sexual, extra vulgar. And this is what... American television loves to see of African American women where we're over sexual, you know, we have terrible, filthy language. And I, and that's why I'm trying to clean up my language. You know, I know I can say some bad words at times, but you know, I still want to hold myself to a higher standard and, you know, really cut back on that because I know I'm only doing what, you know, is expected of me, which is not me, and it, and it does not represent my sisters at all. Keep celebrating her and re-celebrating her, regurgitating, replaying everything that is nasty and disgusting about Lizzo. Now here we go, we have a Rebel Wilson. So she's been celebrated. She was also overweight, you know, uh, and instead of allowing her and giving her a platform to be just raunchy and nasty and over the top and just disgusting no she's actually been celebrated for making healthy lifestyle changes she's losing weight she's being a pr person for a fitness brand people are are celebrating her for taking control of her life and you know she has a slimmer waistline she's being celebrated while Lizzo is sitting here with, with Popeye's chicken and Pops, two liters of Pops and watermelons, just being disgusting, you know? And that's how you can see we are being bamboozled. We are being bamboozled. They're painting a, a narrative that, that African-American women are disgusting, undesirable, and to get any attention, we have to slum and be at our lowest, okay? So on the topic of bamboozled and American television, now, recently, I've been quiet about this whole thing be between Terry Crews and Gabrielle Union. Her Gabrielle Union used to be my girl. I absolutely loved her in Bad Boys 2, you know, but I've noticed that she's always, like, like number two. She's always the supporting actress. And I noticed that she's been doing extra stuff in the media and on her social media to try to get her name out there to be on her own. And... I'm, I'm just going to be flat out with it. She's being extra. And, you know, she threw um, someone that she worked with before. She, she threw Nate Parker under the bus. His honorable contribution to African-American history, yet she threw him under the bus. She really did. That's when, you know, I, I really wrote off Gabrielle Union. I really did. She had a problem on America's Got Talent. Because she, she sent us, you know, a hostile work environment. You know, uh, they're making comments about her hair, things like that. After she made these, these you know, these claims, she, or it was expected of Terry Crews, one of her, her, her co-stars, to, to support her. And Terry Crews didn't want anything, anything to do with her. And it put you between a rock and a hard place. Because what the media, you know, has picked up on and wants to show and put out there that, you know, black women and black men have no unity in the, the workplace. In some situations, that's very true. I can do a whole video on that, but I, I'll, I'll touch on what's relevant about bamboozled at this moment. Terry Crews. 
I first heard of Terry Crews back in the day. I was pregnant when I went to go see white chicks in theaters. And to me, Terry Crews, that was like the Latrell that he played in White Chicks. That's like his, his true, true character. That's like, like him. And how Terry Crews is bamboozled, you know, you see him. He's ripping off his shirt and being the Godzilla. Now, if you remember back in the day, God Godzilla was, was put out to be this black man. And, you know, white women were in danger of the big animalistic black man, you know. And Terry Crews is like embodying and he's being this caricature, you know, being bamboozled, being, you know, the black face on television. Then you see him wearing a bikini top you know it's for a man to have all this 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 muscle and you know testosterone and stuff but he's making himself seem less of a threat by being these stereotypical caricatures putting on putting on a bra and you know just at you was like a black tie event where everyone else is there, you know, with their ties on, they're, you know, conducting business network, whatever. And then you have Terry Crews, ah, you know, doing all that. And it's, it's really bamboozled. You're really being bamboozled. Why is it that you have to be over the top and be, you know, extra just to get attention and the cameras to focus on you? What Spike did with 40 Acres and a Mule, what um, Nate, Nate Parker did with the Nate Parker Foundation, and what others continue to do is that they build their own platform. You build your, your, own, your own space. Once you get a taste of being, you know, the butt of the jokes or, you know, having to be in a toxic environment or when you have to be the character, caricature or the, you know, the, the stereotypical ass clown in these situations... You get tired of that. You're like, I want my own. I don't want to abide by anyone else's rules. I don't want to, you know, have to be anything other than what I naturally normally am, which is why Bamboozled is such a great, a great movie. At the end of Bamboozled, I really love it because Spike Lee has really, has really captured things that could be erased from the internet, e erase from our minds, erase from history. It's enough that we're not taught these things, okay? When uh, when I was in college, I just happened to take up um, American history and television, and that's how I was able to break down, you know, um, storylines and see the plots and research, you know, different world events and how things started. I noticed in that class, they did not start us off with the birth of a nation. They didn't start us off with that. That was on, on my own. Shout out to, you know, Tariq Nasheed, Bamboozled, and, you know, Melvin Van Peoples. Oh my gosh. Melvin and Mario Van Peoples. I will put a documentary in the description um, from something that's here on YouTube that they did. And just talking about Oh my gosh, African-American influence over here in the West. Wow, 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 wow. Yes, as I said, these things are not, not out there for us to, you know, to find. You really have to be in the right mindset and you have to dig deep to find it. Just coming back to Bamboozled, it's, it's satire, but it's so true. It's like the most extreme measures that they can get an African-American to go to for ratings, for notoriety, for publicity, for entertainment, that's that's where it's at. So once you start looking at different television shows that you watch, certain media that you consume, such as I mentioned earlier, the Grammys, when you look at how some of, you know, the winners were, you know, celebrated and what they did and how they looked, you know, and the message they're putting out, it's everything to say that we've been bamboozled. I believe it was Brother Malcolm who said we've been hoodwinked and bamboozled, okay? I don't want to talk anymore about the movie because I feel as I will spoil it and give out more, but I want you to watch it. It took me three times to watch this. I, I started watching the first time. It was a lot to take in. I stopped the movie, started over, came back. And by my third time, I was able to watch it and things really hit home that caused me to research a lot. There was also an episode of um, of the show A Different World. You can watch that on Amazon Prime where um, they actually talked about 
black characters in television and they started out talk, talking about you know the mammy and jemima so i will leave all these links in the description make sure you just sit down and start watching this and make sure that you're not consuming entertainment you know mindlessly that you actually are looking for programming and media that is that is you know constructive that is important to you that it raises your intellect and not lullabies you or leads you into a destructive lifestyle okay and make sure that what you consume and what you share puts your culture you your people your children in the best light okay i hope you enjoyed this video uh make sure i just slap myself i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like subscribe share let me know if you watch bamboozle let me know what your favorite part of this movie was if there's anything that i missed if you want me to go back to revisit the scene let's keep it going what advice would you give someone who was watching this for the first time would you recommend this for children would you recommend this for teenagers let me know uh this should be a great gift you go ahead and pick that up and give that to someone let's you know buy meaningful gifts for people this year pick up this movie if you have birthdays coming up for someone get it to them i'm not gonna ramble no more check out my other videos on this channel make sure you visit my website taishaessex.com for more information make sure you visit my Tymonic store for all of your personal defense needs join me on other social media platforms and i will see you on the next video thank you for watching